What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Dylan Grove here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 30,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 favorite lures to throw in the fall. The leaves are starting to change here in Michigan and fall is upon us and I love fall fishing. It sucks that I'm stuck at the house right now just hanging out trying to recover from my surgery. I really, really wish I could be out on the lake right now because this time of year is when you can catch some personal bass largemouth bass smallmouth bass all those fish right now are chasing schools of bait and they are gonna get it guys so i always love chasing after fall largemouth fall smallmouth hopefully here soon i can recover i'm on the road to recovery right now i'm doing pretty better right now like i said i had surgery on my lower back butt area and it should be like two to three months before before I'm probably back on the lake consistently fishing, filming videos and everything. But let's break it down. Fall fishing can be super, super fun or it can be super challenging. When you're targeting fall fish or when you're going out there on the lake during the fall season, the biggest thing to do is cover as much water as you can. Those largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, bass in general are gonna be scattered all over the lake. They don't even know what's going on right now. It just went from the heat of the summer to chilly cold mornings cold days it's been raining here the past like two or three days so it's just a really weird time right now the bass are so confused there's fish everywhere all over the lake and one to two foot of water all the way to 20 to 30 foot of water you can catch bass in all those depths and everything in between right now so the biggest tip that i'm going to give you in today's video is when you're going out fall fishing make sure to cover as much water as you can that's that's how i've found the most successful days for me out on the lake fall bass fishing but today i'm going to be going over some of my favorite lures to throw in the fall and i think starting off would have to be the guggen squad clickbait any type of vibrating jig honestly will work i also love throwing the z-man jackhammer i've just fell in love with this black and blue guggen squad clickbait over the years i've caught so many big bass on this thing especially in the fall just working around any type of cover whether it's like rocks stumps when i go into little like creek arms or little bays on some inland lakes around here um especially when i'm going in all those bays those bass are pushing all the bait fish into little like channels or little bays right now and those bass are gonna get thick guys so you want to imitate something that is going to be moving something that looks like a, a bait fish pretty much something that's flashy so i love throwing that guggen squad clickbait just throwing it around any type of cover like i said you can throw it around docks those fish are going to be hanging out around docks right now also going to be hanging around any type of weeds or tall grass but i love throwing that black and blue guggen squad clickbait that is definitely a key lure in the fall but next up we are gonna have to go with something on the top and i love throwing the guggen squad buzz bait any type of buzz bait is really good in the fall everyone loves throwing top water I, I can almost guarantee that just seeing that fish blow up on the surface just gets your heart racing i know i go crazy when i see a big bass just come up and grab this from behind that is just the coolest thing ever but i love throwing this big buzz bait on top it's just a really fun bite you can catch fish in super cold water even late fall they love hitting this buzz bait it just seems like I catch bigger fish and more consistent fish on the gold buzz bait. Like I said, that is my second lure in today's video. The buzz bait is a really, really good lure to catch huge largemouth bass. But I usually put a swim bait or some type of trailer on the back of that as well. Next up would have to be another lure on top. And you guys, if you've watched my channel over the past year, I just love throwing frogs. And this one right here is actually my favorite color let me tell you i probably got like 10 or 15 of these and i just love throwing this guggen squad filthy frog yeah guys i love throwing these frogs around any type of lily pads or even when i'm up north i love throwing these frogs in super thick cover way back in the tall grass and those bass will come out of anywhere to destroy the 
these frogs. They come out of super thick cover to destroy frogs. I've caught probably hundreds of fish on this frog right here. And that's probably my number one frog all year round. Definitely a, definitely a must have um, to tie on when you're, when you're fall fishing. But next up would have to be a spinner bait. And this one right here is actually the Guggen Squad Zinger. I've got this one in the all white and then also this spinner bait with the gold blade and a little chartreuse in it. It seems like the little hint of chartreuse always catches some giant bass, but this white one has a hint of pearl in it. And I really like throwing this white one around. It catches me so many big bass. And especially in the fall, those largemouth, smallmouth bass are really keen in on bait fish. They're, ju they're just really looking to eat like crazy, chow down, get ready for the winter's winter months but that one right there when you're reeling that through the water all these blades are moving around they're super flashy and this spinner bait right here any type of spinner bait is going to work really good in the fall but i love throwing this white spinner bait it catches me some giant bass whether you're throwing it in super shallow water ripping it out of the weeds trying to hit stumps and everything any type of action that you can get on it throwing it around structure or you can throw this out in like 10 to 15 foot of water and let it sink all the way to the bottom and just pop it off bottom and reel it in slow but either way those bass love spinner baits in the fall but last but not least, I've just fell in love with the fluke. This is probably one of my favorite lures to throw all year round. I've caught so many giant largemouth bass on this one right here. And also the green pumpkin blue. I've caught so many huge largemouth bass on this thing. I You could honestly even throw these for smallmouth. I've got an electric shad color, some white flukes that work really good for smallmouth. But if I'm going out targeting largemouth, I love throwing that green pumpkin blue or the green pumpkin with red flakes. But usually when I'm throwing flukes, I usually target shallower water especially when I'm throwing them weightless. If I'm gonna be th if I'm gonna be fishing some deeper water, I'll usually put a little bullet weight or two on the front of that and let it sink all the way to the bottom down in the weeds and just barely twitch it back to the boat. And my dad has caught some absolute monster bass on flukes over the years. So he is a beast throwing flukes. So I've tried to pick up some of his tips and tricks throwing the flukes, but I've managed to catch some pretty big bass over the years with flukes. I just wanted to quickly go over some of my favorite lures to throw here in the fall season. Hopefully here in the next couple weeks I'll be doing better. Like I said, I'm just stuck at the house right now. I haven't even left my house in like a week or longer. I'm trying to get better. I'm still trying to film videos, just hanging out here, doing some tips and tricks videos. Drop some comments below. Let me know what videos you guys want to see here on the channel while I'm recovering. But really appreciate all the support and thanks for watching my videos even if i'm not out on the lake it just means a lot that you guys support the channel and i'm thinking about making some extreme outdoorsman hats some more hats like this maybe sweatshirts let me know if you guys would order any hats or sweatshirts drop some comments below let me know i need some feedback maybe i'll make some camo hoodies camo hats just anything just let me know i would really appreciate it but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one guys.